Simon Iron Iceland competing in the 250k Fire and Ice Ultra Marathon. We've only done two stages, we still got 170k to go. We we're three days into this race and I've never done a stage race like this before. Usually when I do adventure races it's non-stop. So this is different in the sense that you sleep every night and your body has a chance to seize up on you. So you've got to work through those kinks every morning. We'll be leaving in just two minutes or so. Watch your step. You're going over a lava field and nobody wants to fall on a lava field. It will be very difficult, but we'll be very happy to see you at the end of the day. So. And the terrain over the next 166 kilometers just varies so much. Where they finish is nothing like this at all, and is a complete contrast. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. The whole seven days, this should be the most challenging. The runners have really got to make sure they, they get through the stage today nice and steady rather than trying to rush it. We've got a doctor waiting at checkpoint one, which is 13 kilometers into the race. The things we're worried about, people slipping, and we're also worried about the low temperatures. So we've got all the emergency kits ready just in case. This place is just crazy. Tough dude, I don't know how he's doing it, I'm freezing. I feel better today, I'm not sweating as much. This is what happens when you become an old man. You get tough, or stupid. Because they're moving quite well, they're staying warm, so the environment's not really taking much of a toll on them. The wind's insane! You come around the back of the queen, and then you're fully exposed to the winds. All protection is gone as the wind just tears at you. We were able to play off each other. One guy would run in the front for a bit, the other guy could draft off him. Then I noticed that turbo started falling a few meters back and then maybe 10 meters back. We're within five kilometers of the finish now, but turbo kind of ran out of gas near the end. Today was a tough one. That's got to be a, one of the hardest 13 Ks I've ever run. Oh, that wind was insane. So strong. I mean, 18 meters per second, that's 60 kilometers an hour. It wasn't fun. No it felt like we are moving so slow. We were together until he slowed up a little bit. I asked him if he was all right. He just said he ran out of gas. And then, you know, we were, uh, walking and jogging together, and then he just goes, just go. I don't know, just these last couple Ks of each day, they seem to be mentally the toughest. I've been in for a couple minutes already, and I can't even see the guy. We were step for step for the first, you know, 35K or whatever for today. It's like when you hit the wall, you just hit the wall. 